Hello everyone, so today we are going to continue. Yesterday we did uh, step one and step two of this fantastic infographic. And today we are going to look into the step three and four. So what we did before was getting organized, basically on Google Drive with folders. And today we are going to look at how we can get started with our curriculum master and managing the data such as teachers' names um, using Form Ranger so that we can really save time um, managing the data which are changing. So I'm gonna let you start with step, step three. Sure, thank you. Um, the Curriculum Master is a simple Google Sheet and what I've listed in mine, and it may be different in your case, are all of the names of the teachers, the subject areas in our school, the courses, and we have an eight-day cycles. These could be dates, potentially, uh, in your school. So to start with, I've decided to set up an alphabetical list, um, but it's kind of a pain in the neck to manage alphabetized lists every time someone leaves and new people come. So I've set up a way to sort of have a, in column A is just everybody. Column B, and you see where it says teachers unique, this is set up just to remove any duplicates. So say I've, I've accidentally typed in two teacher names twice, this is gonna strip out any duplicates. And column C is actually sorting column B alphabetically. Now you can actually make columns B and C work together in a formula like this, sort unique. So it's up to you on how you want to get to your list. Um, and we're going to come back to this list when we work with the form ranger add-on. So this concept that I just talked about applies to the courses as well. And this information came from our registrar who had a database of all of the courses that we offer at our school. So as Fanny had mentioned, this curriculum master is going to be feeding our Google form that will be distributing templates to our teachers upon request. So the thing you have to note about this Google form is that it's using an add-on called Form Ranger. And if we look at our infographic, it's this one right here. It's an add-on for Google Forms. Um, you won't find it in the Google Sheets add-on, so take note of that. When you launch it, you'll be, asked, you'll be asked to set it up, and it works with question types that are sort of choose from a list. I can't remember what it's called, or drop down, drop down, checkbox questions, so on and so forth. But you're given the option to populate it from a list of values, and those values are coming from the master sheet that we just showed you. So, um, and you can also dictate how often that list should refresh. Now for me, this is a list that doesn't change that often, so um, I have it set just to refresh every hour. I could set it up to have it refresh every time a new form is submitted, but that's a little unnecessary. So what I'm going to demonstrate for you is I'm going to remove um, a few of the teachers that I know who are moving on to other teaching jobs uh, in the future and you're going to watch how this list repopulates, uh, removing those names. So it saves me a lot of work in managing this Google form. So going back to the master, this is the master list. And I know, for example, that this teacher is not coming back next year. I can delete his name. And then over in my master list, he is no longer there. And if I come to our form ranger, and I'm actually going to just refresh, refresh the questions, thank you, we're going to notice that Mateo will no longer be in this list. And depending on the number of names you have, it, the refresh process could take a little while. But So now if we look down here, hmm. Mateo is no longer here. So I'm not going to go through all of the names right now, but that is the concept, that you are driving the, the data in this form from one central 
spreadsheet. So we would just like to close with uh, thanking our two viewers, the anonymous Camel and the anonymous Coyote. And I would also like to add that instead of board game antics, uh, last night we tested Fanny's Frenchness. Um, I wasn't quite sure if she was really French, so I brought her to a French meetup in DC. She does speak French. Um, so we've had a great time so far, and we have more videos on the way. And thanks for watching. Au revoir.